We're now ready to move on to our next category of effects. And that category is the spatial effects. And in this video, we're going to talk about echo effects, AKA longer type delays. So nowadays when people make their songs in the computer, it's very possible to set up delay effects or echo effects that aren't realistic. For example, I could go in here, I could open up these filters, I could bring the feedback down to zero so I'm just gonna get one delay, leave this at 50%, give us some kind of random delay time, and you're gonna hear a perfect playback of this signal, right? The delay to the original, it's just gonna basically be the same thing. My so my so happy friends, happy friends shall be shall with be you with that you night. that night. So in the real world, this is not something that could ever happen. You're not going to go into a space where you get a delay at, let's say, one second, okay? And it plays back exactly at the same level with the exact same frequency spectrum as the original. But in the computer, you can do that. And you should feel free to do effects like that. They're very common. People do this all the time. But there is a, an acoustic principle that echo is based around and based off of. So just because we can set things up that aren't really spatial, like I would say that with the settings like this, this isn't really a spatial my soul, effect. My happy friends, friends, happy friends, shall be with you. Shall be night. with you that It's night. just like a repeating effect. So that's different than something that's spatial, that's adding depth, that's letting you know where the signal exists or what's happening after the signal is being played back. So if you go into like the Grand Canyon and you clap your hands or you scream into the Grand Canyon, you know, you will hear an echo, but it comes back a lot quieter than the original. And also it comes back a lot more colored. So there's like additional reverb to the sound. The frequency content is the same. Normally there's a lot of high end roll off on that. And so we do have the ability to emulate those sort of things as well with the delay and thus why it falls into the spatial effects category. So for example, if we go in like we have right now, we're going at a one second delay time. If we just bring this mix down to let's say like 10%. This is now saying that the original is playing back and the delay is going to play back at 10% of what the original is in terms of volume. Always easier to hear than to explain. My soul, happy friends, happy friends. shall be with you that night. You that night. Or we could do the inverse if we really wanted to. So you could almost imagine that you were down in that cave right where the <laughs> right where that delay is happening and so you can have the um, original be a lot more quiet than the delay and this is sometimes a fun effect to do to mess with people because this isn't really something that's realistic but it is defining a sense of space because it's as if that original sound is coming from further away and you're standing up closer to wherever that delay is occurring my soul my soul happy friend shall be with you shall be with you that night all right, so it's all about what you're going for. And like with all of these effects, if you have an intention, that's what you're trying to achieve and that's why you're bringing in the effect. So we'll go back to something a little more reasonable, like, I don't know, 19 or 20%. And with the delay time, we can either use the free mode, in which case this is working in milliseconds, we can go all the way down to 0.01, which we'll be talking about in the next video, or we can take this up to a second. But we can go somewhere in between as well. So let's say this is around 92 milliseconds. My soul Happy friends, shall be with you that night. And now we're getting closer into a shorter delay, kind of a slapback territory where we can hear that there's a defined echo, but it's so quick, it's happening almost immediately. And if you're in a space that's just right, you can actually kind of get this sort of effect um, to exist acoustically. Because in every space when you're talking, we've already covered this before, but the sound waves, they're bouncing all off the wall and they're getting, coming back to you at different times. And so the reason you don't hear an echo in my voice right now is because I'm in a small enough room that's been acoustically treated to some degree not as perfect as it probably should be but every time that my sound is reflect my voice is reflecting off the walls and coming back it's doing so pretty quickly it's coming back fast enough where we're just perceiving this as one sound if i was in a huge room that wasn't acoustically treated we probably would hear a bit of an echo and a delay so there is an acoustic principle that underlines all of this stuff that we're talking about when it comes to delays and then specifically echoes and for me i just to find an echo as something that you can actually hear like separated out from the sound so we can hear that this is occurring twice my soul happy friends shall be with you that night 
The other thing we can do is go in and mess around with feedback. So feedback is just how many times the delay is going to occur or how many times the echo is going to occur. And at zero, it's going to happen once. And then after that, you just kind of have to use your ears to figure out how many times it's going to feed back on itself. My soul, happy friend, shall be with you that night. And if you go up too high, you actually will create a feedback loop, meaning that it's going to delay forever. Built into this plugin, there actually is a safeguard so that it's not going to build up on itself and cause digital clipping. But if it was, you'd have to bring in like that peak limiter we talked about before. But if I put this feedback up to 100, my soul is shall be with you at night. So normally, if we didn't have like a built-in peak limiter control or function, whatever's going on in this plugin, we would start to see the level increase rapidly and then eventually start to clip, in which case we'd have to go in here, go to our dynamics, and grab the peak limiter to help us out there. But for now, let's just put the feedback back to where we were before, around 44% or so. And last but not least, we see our old friends. We have some filters, a low-pass filter and a high-pass filter. Or in this case, it's been written as high-cut and low-cut same basic principle exists and with an echo in general or with a sound in space normally the more high frequencies that are cut off the more distant that sound is going to seem it's going to uh, we're going to perceive it as being further off in the distance so i'll just pull back on this high cut and hopefully you'll hear what i mean my soul happy friends shall be with you that night my soul happy friends shall be with you that night and now since I'm taking away almost all of the frequency content, I'm going to need to bring in more mix. My soul, happy friends, shall be with you that night. As compared to... My soul, happy friends, shall be with you that night. So hopefully you feel like when I bring this high cut down that it's sounding a little bit more realistic. You could also take out low end if your original signal had a lot of low frequencies in it. And we talked about bass buildup before and how that can really cause some problems. So if you wanna put a delay on a bass, absolutely fine, but you will wanna low cut that or high pass it up past the fundamental of that instrument so that you're not getting too much buildup and any kind of uh, extraneous uh, garbage down there in the bottom that could potentially ruin everything. So that's what we've got going on here with the echo effects. One final thing that you might consider doing is actually automating the mix or automating the on off control. So I'm sure many of you guys have heard um, effects where like there's a voice, somebody is singing, and then at the very end on the last word or the last phrase, you hear a delay come in. We can emulate that same kind of thing. This particular delay isn't the greatest at doing that, but if I use the on off here, I should be able to get something pretty close. So I'm going to put the feedback to zero. I'm going to go into the sync time here and let's put it to a quarter note. Maybe we'll go with a half note instead. Sometimes you have to click it a couple times. And if I didn't cover this already, this time is now based. This means nothing when I'm moving around. The delay time is now based on what our BPM is set at. So this is going to come back at a quarter note at 120 BPM. So if we just listen to My it. My soul, happy friends, happy friends, shall be with you that night. You that night. And if you want to explore this further, take like a snare or a kick or any drum sound, put it right on the one, turn your metronome on, and then run it through the delay, and you'll be able to hear how it is syncing up with that metronome based on whatever delay sync time you put down here. But I'm going to work outside of sync. I'm going to work in free mode and I'm going to show you guys how you can get one of those um, like phrase delays. I can't remember what they actually call it. They call it like a throw effect sometimes, but whatever, not important. You'll know what the sound is when you hear it. So I'm just going to turn this off, go into my automation, and let's just try to get the last word. Shall be with you that night shall be with you that night shall be with you that night okay so shall bring be it with back. you that night shall be with you that night shall be with you that night that night shall be with you that night night okay cool so we got it we found the right word now we can add additional feedback shall be with you that night 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 Shall be with you that night. 
shall be with you that night. And one thing you're actually hearing is that the frequency is kind of changing around. Uh, so it's getting either higher or lower. And that's just because it's picking up on that move I made to the delay time. And we're going to talk about this a little more when we get into our shorter delays. But if you move the delay time, you actually will start to hear that change because it's trying to move it in time. So if I go to the delay time here and I automate that parameter as well, like let's do this, you'll hear shall be with you that night or shall be with you that night shall be with you that night so effects like that are always a lot of fun i wasn't planning to show you that at this time but hey you got a little bonus at the end <laughs> 